Okay, exactly one of these numbers is a square number, and we would like to know which one. Of course, we are not going to be using a calculator and take the square root of each of options and then see if we end up with a whole number or not. No, because this question is actually from the Oxford Math Admission Test in the year of 2023. It really tests your understanding with perfect square numbers. So right now, you know the deal. Please pause the video and try this first. Done? Okay. So this is how we are going to do it. I'm not going to just square each option and try to figure out the result. No, because we know exactly one of these right here is a square number. So let's try to rule out the other four. So I'll start with option A. Is this a square number? And the answer for that is no, it's not possible. Why? Because in fact, this is one less than 100 million. So we can write this as 10 to the 8th power, right? Because you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 zeros, right? so 100 million minus 1. Yeah? And 10 to the 8th power is 10 to the 4 and then to the second, and then minus 1. Whenever we have a perfect square like this, and then minus 1, the result cannot be a perfect square, unless you have 1 square minus 1, which is 0. But certainly, the, the, this right here is not 0. So option A, not possible. Now, option B, what do we think? Also a no. Just get rid of it. And the reason is because we cannot have a perfect square that ends with a 3. Have a look. Just pay attention to the unit digit. If you square 1, you get 1. If you square 2, you get 4. Square 3, you get 9. And then 4 square, we get 16. So you will end with a 6. And then 5 square, we get 25. 6 squared is 36. 7 squared is 49. 8 squared is 64, and then 9 squared is 81, 100, well, 10 squared is 100, ends with 0. So the only possible options are 1, 4, 9, 6, 5, and 0. It's not possible to have 3, so not B. Now, C, we have this, and then it ends with a 5. Oh, okay. More importantly though, this ends with 25. So it has a good chance, I will tell you that. I'm not going to get rid of it yet. But for D, it also has a 5. But guess what? Because it ends with a 35, this is also not possible. And the reason is because if a number ends with a 5, that means this right here has to be a multiple of 5. So just imagine the following. I have, let's say, 100 some number, let's say, uh, n1, and then plus 10 n2, and so on. Let's say n and k. I'm just going to use the, let's say, k and, and like this, and then 5, and maybe stop in the front too, and then you square that. So, have a look. And then it ends with 25. It's not possible to end with 35 right here. No. Okay, how about E? Can this be a square number? No, because this right here is a multiple of 1,000 because it ends with three zeros. So imagine we have some number k times 1,000. And then if you want to take the square root of it, well, Square root of k, I don't know, but square root of 1,000 certainly is not going to give you a whole number. So this right here, it's also a no. Therefore, the only option is c. That has to be a square number. And I'll be super impressed if you can figure out the square root of these number without a calculator. And if you know how to do it without a calculator, please show me too. Anyway though, that's it.